what's up and good morning guys how you guys doing today welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm gonna be telling you guys five things that i like about my 1995 bmw 740i e38 so yesterday i made a video where i fixed the door panels and this one actually came up yesterday because it got so hot but uh i was also supposed to sell this car yesterday for 900 dollars but the guy for some reason blocked me on facebook i have no idea why the only thing i said was hey let me know when you're coming because he was supposed to meet me at five and he seen the message didn't reply so i sent him a thumbs up he seen the message didn't reply so i sent another message saying i need to know something soon i am busy today and i need to know when you're coming he seen the message didn't reply and then blocked me i have no idea why but maybe he just got cold feet on buying a car so yeah anyways let me go ahead and get these tires out of here and show you guys the first thing that i like about this car all right you guys so i know my car is really dirty i haven't really had a chance to clean it out fully but the first thing that i like about this car would have to be the first aid kit so you come back to the back seat you see this little thing right here you pull it back and this little lever comes down just like that mine's actually broke so yeah but this is the cool thing about this car so let me go ahead and open this up and show you guys what's inside of it in case your guys is is missing okay so this is what's inside of my first aid little pouch and all this stuff is from the 90s so it's like really old but uh second edition first aid guide cool thing is if you get like a bug bite or something like that it'll show you how to uh like treat it i guess uh tick removal female black widow spider so uh yeah spider bites scorpion sting um i don't live in texas so i don't know anything about scorpions so uh yeah stroke yeah i didn't even know that stroke all that loss of speech or trouble talking or understanding speech dang they got all this is a bmw and they put this in here um some stretch bandage i'm guessing it's like a gall not 100 percent sure got some band-aids and uh i don't think i've ever seen band-aids with this plastic strip huh safer cleaner won't stick to wound there you go there you go baby okay oh no gotta get rid of that <laughs> No, I was kidding guys don't uh don't be too hard on me triangle bandage okay do not place on open wounds so yeah there you go 37 by 37 by 52 so that's probably about the size of my trunk I'm guessing I'm not 100% sure I don't know all those freaking measurement stuff uh here we go with some more band-aids uh Actually, this is speeds healing for cuts, sharp burns, won't stick to wound. Yeah, there you go, guys. It's pretty awesome. And this is another stretch bandage. So there's two of them in there. Uh, this is some um, adhesive tape. That is actually pretty awesome because, hey, it's waterproof too. One inch by 90 inches, 2.5 centimeters by. 229 centimeters don't know how big that is but it's all good okay so we got this insect sting relief i didn't even know that they made stuff like that that's pretty awesome that it's in a bmw uh cleaning towelette mini oh never mind that's in spanish got some scissors in case uh you need to cut some of those bandages or something like that um you can tell that this is from the 90s because it's discolored this is extra large plastic strip i think that's what that says plastic strip won't stick to wound there's a lot of these in here won't stick to wound um here's this there's a couple of them in here and when i first got this car when i first noticed this i was wondering what that white powder stuff was so like it kind of freaked me out so like i immediately went inside and washed the crap out of my hands because dude this car i 
because back in the day a 750 IL had uh, like the cocaine tables and people were actually using them <laughs> as cocaine tables so yeah I was uh, very concerned about all that but let me get this all put back in here I usually try not to take all this out because they put it in here a certain way alright you guys so the second thing that I like about this car would have to be the way that the seat belts are so if you guys follow me on TikTok at German Muscle you guys will know that I already made a video about this so um i don't know how true this is i actually seen this in a doug demiro video and he actually said that the reason why the seat belts are right here as soon as you open up the door is in case um you get in a car accident and you're not able to like move around or anything like that and the door is able to open if you are in your seat belt instead of the firefighter having to crawl over you and then like unlock the seat belt from like right here or cut it he can just open up the door, cut it right here, or just boom, and you're free. They snatch you up, take you out, take you to the ambulance. I like that so much because that is like really awesome. And it definitely gives you that foreign feel because cars in America do not have that. Or if they do, I've never seen one. So yeah, let me go ahead and give you guys an example of how this works. So you get in the car, and I know you guys probably can't see the other side of it. But uh, wrap the seatbelt around you and put it over here. And uh, it is in place. I mean, obviously, you guys know how to work a seatbelt, but I've never had to do it on this side before. So I just think that that is like really awesome that they have seatbelts on the outside like that. So, you know, I mean, sitting in cars as a little kid. Um, I'd be like right here my brothers be on each side of me and we'd have to fight over who's going to use the first um, seat belt buckle thing so yeah and uh, I just think that that's really awesome so big shout out to BMW for doing that okay so it seems like we're still in the back seat I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys the third favorite thing that I like about this car and that is this little armrest right here so I can barely pull on that because I did spray my wrist yesterday and it hurts when I do that but it's all good so you can just be chilling here with your arm up watching uh cars go by as you're sitting in the back seat and uh well if you get thirsty or if you want to uh put whatever's in your hand down and you don't want to put it back here or anything there is a cubby hole right here and there's actually some light bulbs in here so i need to see if these will fit in the tail lights so yeah that's pretty cool and you can tell that this thing hasn't been used all that much because it feels like it's brand new like it feels like nothing has been put in there and it's clean so that's really awesome but uh definitely need to clean this thing up a lot because it is pretty dirty and this thing is supposed to stay strapped up like that right there i don't know why it came down but boom there we go and i don't know how comfy it is Oh yeah, that's that's pretty comfy. That's not bad at all. I mean, a big dude like me wouldn't be able to sit back here because, you know, I wouldn't be able to sit with my legs like this because I got a big old man package. But yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, so now on to the front seat. All right, you guys, so this is the fourth thing that I like about this car. So even though I haven't gotten to drive this car as much as I would like to, the cool thing about this is it has a manual mode. So the car is actually dead, so I'm not able to show you guys. You can put the car in drive, or you can keep it in park, and you can push down on this lever, and it puts it in manual mode. That is, like, freaking awesome. I know there's cars that have the auto stick, and if you, like, want to, like, bring it over here, you can put it in manual and all that. It's really awesome. But I just think that that's really cool that you can push a button, and boom, your car is in manual mode. And, uh, yeah, I haven't driven the car in manual mode so i don't know exactly how good it is but i did put it in manual mode um a couple months ago jump started my car and took off and it did a slight little burnout so that was pretty awesome but uh yeah maybe if i keep this car i might take that stimulus check and uh fix this thing up with so yeah that's the fourth thing that i like about this car let's head over to the fifth thing now i know a lot of you guys will agree with me on this the fifth thing that i like about this car 
would have to be this big monster v8 this thing produces 282 horsepower and 295 foot pounds of torque to the rear wheels i don't know if it's straight 282 to the rear wheels or to the crank or not but this thing is freaking massive like look at that like that's my hand compared to that freaking head that is insane so yeah and there's also you know a lot of room in here to do activities <laughs> you can put a big old turbo right here if you want to eliminate your uh, power steering and whatever the heck this is and whatever that is then you can just put like two turbos right here if they're small enough take out the freaking air box put a turbo right there put the uh air box like in the grill or something like that but yeah this thing is just absolutely massive i don't know if any of you guys know chevy chevelles but when you pop the hood on a chevy chevelle like you got this tiny little freaking v8 engine in there and you got like so much room on the sides it's just ridiculous like you can live in the freaking engine bay right next to the engine in a chevelle they should have definitely put like one of these monster v8s in there so anyways that is all that i have for this video if you guys did like it be sure to leave a thumbs up and, and let me know what your five favorite things is about your car down in the comment section below and uh that's all i got for this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace hold up is there some freaking horses in there